Wow, I'm so unfit. Do you fancy removing the skin off your knuckles, Ruben? This is my smug face. <laughs> Mate, it's gonna blow up. Oh! It's turning into a bit of a disaster, isn't it? You actually can't even make that up. A T-Rex would never make a good plumber. That's not a good sign. Oh, it's going. It's going! Yes! Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Art Sound Electrics where we're doing a uh, char carga. Maybe I should also take the opportunity while I've got a cup of tea to have a little moan. Very English. Um, I've been put into the tiny little van. Look, that's a little van of punishment, that. I, I can't even sit upright in it because if you've seen me in real life, I'm not actually that small. I've crammed all the stuff from a massive van into this tiny little van. And then I've come to this job and have a look. It was meant to be ducting. I just don't think we're gonna get a cable down there, not REV cable. I mean, we can try. I don't wanna be a negative Nelly. I will definitely try. But if there's two 90 degree angles, that's not gonna be very possible to get that on. And I think we only have about four hours allowed for the job. So if you think it's doable, but I'd rather take my time and do a nice job, which then means you end up working later. So it's a little bit annoying, but we're not gonna focus on the negatives. We're gonna focus on the positives. It's a lovely day. Look at the quality of that turf. And it's a single patch on it. Not one single patch. It's a gray sky. Above that, it's nice and blue. So I'm just gonna focus on that. I'm hoping, I'll turn the power off before I get too carried away with this. I can take this board out of the wall. This is a lovely new build style board. And by lovely, I mean complete and utter turd. And what I'm thinking for a route is that duct is just the other side of that wall there. So what would be lovely in an ideal world, please, please, please is I'm gonna drill a little hole in that bottom right corner there, put my magnet in there, my super rod magnet, take that board out, dangle the chain around, hopefully, because just because there's sockets and things that I'm hoping that there's no in-between noggins, which I know that's not gonna happen, there's gonna be noggins, but I do a wild situation. Swing my chain until it catches on the magnet, pull that magnet out, so then I have a route to that corner, trunking just above the skirting, all the way along. We can put the appliances back in, pop out that wall. You'll never know we've ever been here on this side. No damage, no cable on show. And then on the other side, we can pop down in that duct and go inside the house. However, there's almost definitely gonna be noggins and stuff in that wall. So what I'm thinking is we get permission to turn the power off, we safely isolate, and then we get our little arms inside that wall. Annoyingly, that has chipped some of the, uh, the plaster and paint off of the wall, but that's okay, I can fill that. All the sockets have been painted in. Come on, man. What I say we do is I'll try and drill through this joint noggin just here. I can see a noggin just there, which is what I expected anyway in line of the sockets. And I'm hoping that's the last one. If I can drill through that one, then get a rod down as low as I can, mark where it is, pop it out, wherever that ends, on the other side of the wall, well that's where I'll pop through, that's where I'll start the trunking. And I'll get the cable out from there. Once I get the cable from here to there, I'll be happy. Because that route should be all right. Until we get to problem number two, the super tight ducting. I'm gonna work out one of them campers. I've never installed a zappy that's not tethered and it's really annoying because the cables are connected into like the cover and it, you can't take them off. Well, I guess you could take it off but it'd probably like void the warranty or whatever, um, which is a bit annoying. So now I've just got to have this hanging when I'm doing everything with it. You know, it's not a big deal but it's just a bit, a bit more annoying.
that will need to be a 25 mil hole with a stuffing band. 25 mil, right, okay. Yeah, and uh, also I wouldn't poke the cable through yet because the hardest bit is going to be getting through there. So I'd get through that hardest bit first. Right. And then we'll measure it off and get it all in. Nice. But I like your proactivity. I'll quickly grab a tape measure unless you've got one in your pocket. I do not, I've left it on the table. Alright, I'll grab one quickly. Cut to 67 point, let's just say 68. So I've, I've taken out their joists there. Yeah. Um, and well, I tried drilling down there, but it was just there was so much stuff. And, um, but yeah, I'm coming down there. So all the cables are coming in to the board. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to pop down that corner there, take out a little bit, and then put trunk in along there. Yeah. Trunk go behind there, trunk in along there, drill out, and then this is the duct we're meant to be going through. He said I've used a push fit 90 degree there, and a push fit 90 degree over there. Is it a flexible hose or is it like solid like that? I think it's solid. So I'm definitely going to try, but I reckon we'll probably end up, even if worst comes to it, Where's if we just dig down there, get the elbow, pop it off and dig down there and get the elbow, oh. we, we might be able to fish it up 190 degree and just have to cut off that last one potentially. Oh, what, is it literally just under that bit? Yeah. Oh, was he having it in the gallery? Yeah, so then it just pop, he's, he's already got the hole drilled there, it's just popping through, uh, up and over, and then the charger's just going there. That's made the day a lot nicer for Lee. Um, because he's able to come and work with us now. He's just had a cancellation this afternoon. So, sweet. Um, Should I get this cable through there? Yeah, well, maybe we should start with getting it down that wall. Yeah. He's just cut the trunk in for us there now. He's just about to what do that. Um, yeah, it's just a zappy. So we've got it, it's all ready to go. Like, um, you don't have a 25 mil stuffing gland in your van, do you? Beautiful. Yeah. Actually, to be fair, I think that goes for a 20, the MYJ. What's that mega torch thing then as well, cool? Oh, that's a nice looking one. My old fluke one kept playing up. It vibrates as well when you put it on something live, so it's oh, that's well yeah, nice. Good. Feels pretty premium. It, it might be doable, it's just not what I was expecting. Yeah, like it does move, but getting that round the corner, maybe we should just try it now. that then. Oh actually let me just take this one end here. That'd be lovely if it does. That's not a good sign. <laughs> I'm not Why's even, the rope getting stuck? I've not even got the game with it. There's a knot on the rope. Do you want Ruben <laughs> to do that bit? Yeah. <laughs> Pull the knot. So that's getting that, That's about that's a, that well that's slimmer than the cable isn't it that knot so I can try and just tape that little frayed end just in case it's that and it probably sure. it probably reduces a little bit so I actually think we'll get it, mate. <laughs> I'm smashing my knuckles off this wall. <laughs> ah. Come on, mate. <laughs> oh, it's going. It's going. Yes. This is where it snaps. Come on. Mate, what the heck? We actually got it. How many meters we got to pull through this? <laughs> that was take that this side. No, I think this just as long that way as it is that way. <laughs> Not right now. No, I don't know who it is, it's an unknown number. I've got five boards. <laughs> I've got five boards on this ERCR, I was only booked in for two. Should we get some dish soap or something on it? <laughs> wow, I'm so unfit. Imagine if we're in like Ethiopia or somewhere where we actually had to hunt for our food. We'd die. We'd chase, <laughs> we'd chase, <laughs> we'd chase something for about 10 seconds and be like, oh, it's all right, wait for it to die of old age and I'll eat it later. Do you fancy removing the skin off your knuckles, Ruben? Yeah. Working men, that's what this is. This is going to be ASMR. <laughs> Let's find some copyright free workout music. <laughs> okay, copyright free indie. This is definitely going to suck. Well, maybe I should have had it. Oh, no. 
Okay, we've got copyright free indie. I feel like I'm in a 2005 rave. Yeah, skip to another copyright free song. Okay, thanks, that's enough copyright. This is not a copyright free workout. It's making me want to cry. <laughs> I miss that person that broke my heart when I was 13. That's pretty much there. A little bit more. See my knuckles and what's left of them. Good job on that one. <laughs> Just stay your... Maybe she'll drunk all four yeah, of them. Mango Locos. They're right. Yeah, They're fine. <laughs> Inside my little hidey hole. Having a good apprentice is amazing. It is absolutely amazing. One day I'll get one, I'm joking. <laughs> Having Ruben is awesome. Just little things, I can be like, right, can you just get some trunking cut in there? And I just sat down and I was like, ah, it's already in there, lovely. Got some trunking cut. Good. Now, what I'm thinking is I might, there's a piece of wood there, oh, maybe I'll be all right. Okay, let's just try. magnet thing this is called the gecko gripper and all it is is a long magnet with a piece of string with a rod attachment at the end what you can do is you can drop it drop it down a wall and then you can pop that on there and run it down until it pops up but what I want to do is lower it down so you see this here I reckon there'll be a joist up here somewhere but no, there is not. This is my smug face. I have to say, I love it when a product comes together. And that is a great product, so, because that, I can just pop that the other side of the wall. I can, I could then loop this off, I could loop this off somewhere else. No. Okay, that was a bad demonstration of it, but. It's a fantastic product. Can someone please send him a tape measure? Because this is, this is making me sad. <laughs> I think that's the best you can do really, mate. I think that looks good. I've got some expanding foam. Maybe I'll spray a bit of that, stop anything falling down. I think the hole is so tight, I don't think an amp will get down there, to be fair. Maybe we should just cut the... Cut it down a little bit shorter. Just a little bit. I suppose it's good having a little bit just to protect it from stones and stuff. But yeah, maybe yeah. if we just cut it to there or something. Nearly up a bit. Nice. Or should we go get a bag out my van? The whole can's gonna empty. How's that even done that? I feel like we should not do this uh, near his drive. Near his van. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh no. Mate, it's gonna blow up. Mate, what am I gonna do? <laughs> Ruben, it's gonna blow up. Look. How much is gonna come out? Bag of expanding foam, anyone? <laughs> oh, no, I think of it went on my tool bag. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. <laughs> No. <laughs> I've got some on my trousers from ages ago, it just don't come out. Look at my drill. No. Ah, oh, mate. The big wipe's any good for it? Yeah, to be fair. Alright. I would. I'll try. Guys, go buy some big wipes. Let's see. Let's see if this. To be fair, that is not. That is coming right off. Yeah, look, my drill. Ah, oh, it's not too bad. Literally, like when you're trying to go above was, and beyond, that's that what happens. That's the same uh, shocked face as if you go for a pipe. I was like, oh no, what are we gonna do? <laughs> it's coming right off, you're all right. Be all right in the grass, you just cut the grass. 
Look at the quality of that turf. I don't see a single patch on it. Not one single patch. <laughs> now it's like a war zone. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna think that was staged. You actually can't even make that up. Oh! <laughs> that is the scariest thing alive. That must have been what it was like to be a pilot in the war. So I give that tape measure to Ruben? I think I'm gonna. <laughs> All right. These actually work. Look at my drill now. Burn your foam me. all, I mean, it's still got, let me get wiped that bit. It's turning into a bit of a disaster, isn't it? Do you want me to push it? Um, yeah, please. Because I need to come along the bottom and then pop in. Pop down there. A lovely little drip loop. Did you ever watch the storage walls? It's like, oh, yep, yeah. 45, 45, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, Can I just say, seeing as everyone's seen this blown brick, I popped through right there on the mortar, and then as soon as I expand it, it still popped, and that's with the chisel off as well. Does that make me an amateur? Maybe. Um, is it gonna be professionally hidden? Definitely. You'll never know. But still, that is annoying. I hold up my hands to that. T-Rex would never make a good plumber. Two things T-Rexes are not good for, press-ups and plumbing. And that is actually the real reason why they died out. Never achieve plumbing. Sanitation essential to a civilized society. Science. Fixing someone's brick blow. Names will not be mentioned. I've siliconed it on, but it was coming off this side, so I just stuck a couple of nails in just off of some cable clips just to hold it while it sets. I've always done brown and white brown for mains and then blue and white blue for my second one because I always think one, two, three. That's what makes sense to me because yep. it's like live ne line neutral earth and then green for renewable, so. Well, why don't we have brown and white brown for mains and green for the renewable? Yeah. It's only half 11. Don't want them. I'll put the washing machine and stuff back in. I'll pull this back. And then if you just keep an eye out for it, I'll try and fish it up. Uh, oh yeah, down a bit. Yeah, well, if we pull it right out, maybe we could strip it, lose the slack in the wall and then drop it down one of these top knockouts. Okay. That's rubbish, isn't it? All that plaster. I know, it was like plastered over it a little bit. Can you spot the difference between these two? Oh, actually, this is already a type A. There is no difference between these two. That is so funny. I had on the job spec replace type A C R C D for type A um, because with a car charger, you have to have it on a type A. Well, with multiple things you do, but with uh, anything with DC potentially ruining your waveforms, you have to have it. Um, and saves me time. But that was a waste of a segment and a waste of 10 seconds of your life, so I apologise for that. Right, this little mirror 
is pretty handy just for making sure all your terminals are backed off because we've all done it. If you say you haven't, you're a liar. Just making sure you uh, actually correctly bite your bus bar. So this mirror here, I just use a little insulated one. This is uh, Boddington's, so I think you can buy it from Lowdown. Put the link to it below if you want, but it's just handy. If you say you've, you've never missed a bus bar tooth, then I'm sorry, but you're a liar. We've all done it. And uh, what it means is you just have that bit of extra reassurance. You can just double check, you're definitely on it. And then you're not gonna burn down anyone's gaff. Oh wow, this is such a messy board. Okay, that's all right then. It's just hard work because you can't get in the sides, but you can't pull the board up because there's never any slack. Yeah, you don't want to completely shrek their walls. Then you should just close the bit. Are you having a laugh? <laughs> That's what? been filled before. That has been filled before, hasn't yeah, it? No, you can see the screw. Oh, yeah. Ruben's just doing the R1R2, so I linked it out for him. Do you want to wire it in that end, Ruben? Yeah, boy. How can you even make this look nice, man? Well, if we take this down here, and then they can get Vargoed. Oh. Hey, you ruined this nice fit. Right, we're all done, we're all finished. Fortunately, Lee was available, so we've still got like half a day left, so that was actually a pretty sweet job. So either we call the office and do what's right and uh, get another job, or we go to the pub, but yeah, we'll, I'll have a think about it as we're walking down the drive. See you next time.